we started the show off, you know, informatively, like we normally do. Uh, you know, just letting people know the different venues that are open and what's going on, the different communal events All right. and stuff that's going on in Rogers Park, mm -hmm. Chicago, period. <clears throat> my my events that I have going, you know, tomorrow I have a show with Twister and then after that, and then after that, I have uh, the Halloween event at a right. party. Yeah. Right, big deal. Yeah. And then, um, I'm sorry, I'm talking to other people. <laughs> I'm, okay. sorry. I... I'm setting up stuff. They're asking me stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's so kind it's of multimedia. Just, yeah. <laughs> setting things up. That's all. Making right. stuff happen. Okay. And then um, we had a commercial break, basically. Okay. <laughs> Did yeah, you play some more of those great tracks, such as the last yeah, time I, I was on? I played, yeah, I played a lot of different, um, different independent artists and local mm -hmm. artists that you haven't heard. You need to hear some of these. I, I'm gonna play a few more for you tonight. Okay. Yeah, I hope if, you if, send if, me like a mixtape because it was so interesting. It was like the beats were different, and it was like beats and the beeps kind of. You know? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right. So then, um. And then, yeah, then we came to here because, okay. you know, I know that you have something special brewed up for us, you know, so I had to make sure I said everything right. Okay. Well, yeah, there's a new album that just is coming to radio stations these days. Uh, I think Trudy and Bill got a very early copy for the WZRD. But yeah, we're going to be pushing that. It's called Women in Music, Meld 2, and it's 16 tracks recorded in San Francisco or New Orleans between 2004 and uh, 2021. The latest tracks we just recorded in uh, August with uh, great musicians in New Orleans, Erlen Riley and uh, uh, Kurt Joseph and Roger Lewis part of my Rivers and Dreams band. So I'm very, very happy with this album. Uh, this is, let's see if we can put this up proper. This is the booklet that comes with it. There's a 12 page booklet and that is the cover if you can is make it, it out. Is it a, a 12 page booklet? Is it a pamphlet or is it just, what is it? Well, it's, uh, that's kind of nice. It's printed on linen and it contains all the lyrics. And it contains a bunch of photographs of people who are involved. These are musicians. I don't know if that will show up very well, but these are some of the That's players. Michael, can you see them? Yeah. Michael Torregano Jr. and Nick Benoit from Chicago. And that's no. uh, Mario Abney. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Clear as day. <laughs> okay. And that's the great Kirk Joseph on sousaphone. That's the great Herlin Riley playing drums. The great Amit Drake from uh, Chicago playing drums. And Alex Degrassi, the guitarist. So, yeah. And that's me way back when in uh, San Francisco with uh, Diani Dharma, uh, a Buddhist and gypsy guitarist, composer, wonderful. Your hair is short. Your hair is, are you playing the guitar? Oh, he's playing the guitar and his hair is long. That's how you distinguish this. My hair is yeah, short. Yeah, okay, so I, so I was right. Your hair is very short in that picture. Yes, that's, I was still a distance runner then. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else? There's Rick G. Nelson and Roger Lewis, Don Paul, Herlin Riley. Kirk Joseph. That was just after uh, Herlin led us to a new language. He began to kind of speak his own language as we had him overdub on a track. And we were all talking, 
Come on, Maurice, you can help. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. So that's kind of what that was all about. Okay, and that's Richie Nelson, and that's that's Don Paul again. He shows up a lot in this uh, gallery, and the great kid Jordan, now 85 years old, and again, Roger Lewis. So those are some of the photographs, and this is back to the the album with the tracks and so forth. Hey. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with women in music and I'm so glad that it's uh, going to be reaching a public this month. Yeah, yeah. You look good, Larry, you look young. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Yeah. Um, um, so, I'm supposed to do five tracks or so, huh? That's kind of part of the deal. Yes, five tracks. Five tracks coming up. Five tracks. But hey, look, what I'm gonna do for you, Don Paul, because uh -huh. we I really, I really want you to surprise the people. We are gonna stretch those out. I don't want you to do too much, but I want you to do just enough to where you're comfortable and to where you please the people. Okay, well, I'll try to stretch them out. So the first one I, uh, I'm going to do is uh, called Effie Gina Sprinkles Breadcrumbs for Chickens in the Street. And it comes from uh, a trip to the Dominican Republic in 1987 when I was a distance runner. I had won a trip to the Dominican Republic and the pleasure of running a 10 kilometer race in 90 degree heat. But uh, so out of that, after that race in uh, Santo Domingo, uh, we went to Samana on the North Coast, which was a place where runaway slaves kind of formed their own community. Dan, and, Dan, Dan could you, uh, uh, could you uh, set your camera down so we could see your entire face? Could you move your camera a little bit if you can? Let's see, is that better? Yes. Is that yeah. good? Yeah. Hey. We, we need oh, like, more yeah. colors. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, F.A. Gina sprinkles breadcrumbs for chickens in the street. Roosters crow like shrieking banshees outside the bedroom of the basketball playing son where we stay in Samana, Republica Dominicana. Cobwebs lace the balcony overnight. The fan swivels with labored whirring. Ants swarm across one corner of the kitchen sink. Ephigena sprinkles breadcrumbs for chickens in the street. About trust, this grandmother says. People here know who I am. Regina. And this is one that follows shortly thereafter on the album. It's called Gateway. And I recorded it with uh, Alex DeGrassi and Lee Drake in New Orleans in 2018. It's uh, a memory of coming to the United States in the way back when. Gateway, capital letters, tall silver, R-E-N-O, stood straight as an airport's herald, above smaller caps of yellow, the biggest little city in the world, over Virginia Street, downtown, late summer moon on Nevada's high plateau. Lights, 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 a sparkle and a glow. Crowds on the sidewalks and carpets beneath marquees, striped, flounced, cowboy hatted, out for good times, smiling like 
bandanas wobbling in high heels, peering like desperate hunters. America, America, the USA, infinitudes bigger, brighter than my mother's and my Manitoba, the real Magic Kingdom, Tinkerbell anointing neon, Davy Crockett is hung over. Here and now, in my six-year-old's eyes, agape after our days of drive, in the licorice pink and black Pontiac, another universe, TV color, and in your face, So it was very exciting to come to the United States from Brandon, Manitoba in the middle of the prairie, and especially in 1956 when color TV was new and it was another universe. Some responses, how did that come across? Were you able to see how that was coming into Reno at that time? Yeah, it's beautiful. Really, uh, it's just so um, so different from the hustle bustle now. It's so like a, it's difficult, but it's uh, it's it's reflective. Very very like uh, deeply reflective. <laughs> Say again, please. Reflective, like uh, is it is it is it autobiographical or is it uh, oh you... entirely. Yeah. Entirely, oh, yeah. Wow. It was literally what happened. Our, we moved from Brandon, Manitoba, the middle of uh, Manitoba's prairie. My mother needed to get a divorce in Reno. So uh, she and I came along with our cat tuck and our um, miniature poodle Trudy to Reno. And that's how we arrived on a Saturday night. And that was the scene, kind of like, if you've ever seen the movie, The Misfits, you know, with uh, Marilyn Monroe and Clark Gable and Montgomery Clift, it was that, that era Reno, you know, it was a simpler time. <laughs> yeah, simpler, it is, yeah. 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 Quite, quite a memory, you, you still have all the details. Yeah, I'm lucky that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very lucky that way. How are you, Vern? I remember you from the last time. Um, just about as tired. I, I I just do night shifts, so I'm just kind of bumbling. Um, glad to be here. Like I, I I never have too much to like contribute entertainment in an entertainment way. I've just been like focusing on more like visual art recently, but I'm doing yeah. okay. Yeah, and this is uh, Karen. Did I see the name right? The other person there. She just she just best. she just came in. She just came back in. Hey, Miss Karen. I am so sorry. Yeah. Hello. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing a lot. <laughs> okay. And Brinks yeah. knows best. Is that Dave Brinks? No. Couldn't be Dave that Brinks. Is Izzy. Queen Izzy. Okay. How are you doing tonight? You're on mute, Izzy. I don't know if you're trying to talk or anything. I'm wonderful. How are you? Good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Do you live in North Chicago too? I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rogers Park just knocked me out. I was there in 2002 after the Rainbow Family Gathering. I was the quote poet laureate of the. Uh, no onions with a sprite. <laughs> and a large diet coke. Oh, forget the coke. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no coke. Sprite. <laughs> huh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> We're getting a lot of different conversations. It's like uh, there's old so, shortwave sorry radio. Sorry about radio. that. I was ordering a dinner for my granddaughter, and I forgot okay. I was I was unmuted. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Um, it's like cut up poetry, you know, like 
Burroughs and uh, Ginsburg will just cut up text and throw it on the page. So shall I continue? Shall we go to Brazil a little bit? This is yeah. uh, okay. Continue, continue, continue. We got, hey, we are entering into the, I'm sorry. I, I usually do like announce the markers of tonight's live. We are entering into the last 30 minutes. Okay. But, but we're not through yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this is one called uh, Toward End of Candomblé. Who here knows? What's that? I said, do your thing. I really, again, a hey, much honor. Thank you. I really do appreciate you. All the way from New Orleans, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. All yeah. the way from New Orleans right now. He's taking over the mic for okay. the virtual stage. Slam okay. Open Mic Poetry Club every Thursday, 12 p or every Thursday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I'm sorry. We always got to say that. I'm sorry. Okay. Don Paul, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. All right. So this is a poem called Toward End of Candomblé, and it came from uh, visiting Salvador Bahia uh, in uh, Brazil in 1993. Toward end of Candomblé in Salvador, Bahia, the drummer stopped, the women risen, blessed, risen from prostration at the living room altar. Madre Maria dos Neves, who's told Vilma in Brazilian Portuguese that you're very pretty, her strong and graven head like a lantern from Angola. As you stand, touch the floor with your right hand and straighten. The Madre closes your eyes, dusts your face, smooths your arms down, grips you by one shoulder, jolts it, and jolts the other, shoving to spin, shoving to spin, this way and that, denying one's control of gods and fates. Her hand, like a force of life, prehistorical. Another lesson from a woman. Are we frozen? <laughs> Hello, Larry. I hope that came through all right. I heard you. Sorry. You I heard I'm you. Sorry. Sorry. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, we heard you. We heard. We heard. Okay. We heard you great. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I thought. I didn't think you were finished. I thought it was part of the act. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Long, long silences. Is anyone else going to do some poems, or am I just going to have a, a straight run here? No, we were going to take a, I'm sorry, we were going to take a real quick break, come back with some more people that were going to do so. So we're going to take like a 15 minute, 20 minute break. <laughs> oh, huh. Yeah. Well, that, I don't think we can do that here. Uh, I can quote, complete my set. You know, I can do the last couple of poems that I, uh, would like to offer, but yeah, yeah, of course. Um, Go ahead. Stage yeah. is yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry to miss the other performers, really and truly. Um, uh, does anyone want to do a poem among the people who are here? I could probably do something. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Uh, Diamond City Queen, am I remembering right? <laughs> Diamond City Angel. 
Thank oh, you. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that song. Yeah, that song was about a very special Chicago in woman that okay. I have come across. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Um, I'm not gonna do that one yet. <laughs> what I'm about Brink Snow's Best? The the lady. Would you like to do a poem? <laughs> <laughs> um I'm a I like to sing, so <laughs> okay, that would be great. Um <laughs> well no, like I'm saying I like to sing. Um I'm actually enjoying your set. I was I was actually enjoying what you had going on here. Okay. Well let me let me complete my set then, so to speak. This is um, a song that uh, we recorded for a documentary made by Melissa Gregory Rue. Uh, her documentary is called Live Out Loud. And it's about three uh, homeless people in uh, Portland, Oregon, whose uh, association with the Ben Clark Center there has led them to each make a movie as part of their quote, therapy. So that's kind of how the documentary revolves. It's a really good piece. We just got last week the, the uh, final edit of it. It was enormously pleasing to see what she had done. It's, so this song that I'm going to perform was one that came to me in the shower uh, after I'd watched the rough cut of the movie. And it is called Live Out Loud Too. If I could, I can, then I surely should say live out loud. I knew a woman danced with a crate on her head. Say, hey, live out loud. Man made a movie from parades in his head. Say, hey, live out loud. Hands out with prayers, crying. It's all the same day. Say, hey, live out loud. Live, live it like you should, live it like you can, live it like you should, live it like you can. Say, hey, live out loud. Here come the gleams, here come shared stars. Hey, say, live out loud. Papers and waste bits throughout old time. Say, hey, live out loud. Live it with prayers, live it with stars, live it with parades and dancing with a crate on your head. Live out loud, ba ba da do ba da dee da da, do 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 da 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 da, ba do ba do do da do da da ba ba do da do da ba ba do da 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 Ouch! 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 Live out loud, say. Hey, live out loud. I have a question about live out loud. We have a question from the audience here in New Orleans. Come over and show yeah. your face to the audience. So Hi, this everybody. is my <laughs> wife, Marie Stejan. Hi. Yes. I have here. a question. About, tell us about live out loud. The movie itself? Yeah, the concept, live out out oh, loud. that's a quote from Emile Zola, the French novelist. Okay. That was, I guess, uh, the frontispiece for Melissa Gregory Rue's inspiration. Mm -hmm. And her point, of course, is that we need to manifest ourselves mm -hmm. as fully as we can to live out loud. And the beauty of her movie, which we watched just what, last weekend, yeah, is that it shows you how these people who are really struggling uh, living on the street before they entered into the Ben Clark Center uh, kind of become transformed certainly by their creation, the, the movie that each, is, each does. Uh, it, was a, it was a gas to record the music. We actually watched the uh, footage and then made music to it. Yeah. yeah, like Miles Davis and Elevated to the Gallows. Hmm. Like that. It was, you know, it's uh, a great way for artists to get 
to get together. For sure. Yeah. Thank you. So it should be out on the, the circuit this coming year. Melissa Gregory Ruse, Live Out Loud. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, and the last uh, piece that uh, I'll do is called Louisiana Days, Louisiana Nights. And the background to it is I was working uh, in the Upper Ninth Ward in New Orleans, building a house on uh, Prayer Street uh, with uh, a couple of guys. And every day in New Orleans, there's the same cycle of weather. You know, by early afternoon, all the pressure in the atmosphere has built up and it explodes into thunder and rain. But there's a also a tremendous amount of repetition day by day in New Orleans in the summertime. And then there's the whole of New Orleans and Louisiana and how different it is. This is called Louisiana Days, Louisiana Nights. And on the album, uh, the piece is recorded with Mario Abney on trumpet and drum set, Michael Torregano Jr on keyboards and Nick Benoit of Chicago and New Orleans on bass. Louisiana days, Louisiana nights, rivers of dreams on the ever-changing life, sky of huge billows in blue, Etch a sudden cool breeze, turns dark like giant steps and brows of voodoo, cracks like alligators tail on a floor of dungeons, thunder and lightning up to the plain, lightning and rain shoot to the plain and the Old Siddhas Opera plays on again Another morning to dawn And the Old Siddhas Opera plays on again Louisiana days, Louisiana nights Rivers of dreams on the ever-changing light And the beats to this place they never stop, they never lay up. Me. Yeah, you're right, you heard me. The beats that put the funk and hip hop, the skips and two steps, the twing and swamp pop, the beats in branches and in stones that hump. Yeah, you're right, you heard me, yeah, you're right, freedom here be like nowhere else, freedom here be like nowhere else, Louisiana day, Louisiana night, rivers of dreams, Ever-changing That's so beautiful, Dan Paul. Thank you. That's really, really beautiful. Okay, thank you very much. It's so good to be with you. Yeah. So, um, Phil said that um, he really wanted to be here, but he's he's walking in the rain right now. He's all he's all wet, so he can't he can't join us. But he said hi, Phil Morton. He's, he just walked into the room and he's all wet. Is that what but I got? He's still he's still on the street. He's like okay. uh, he's getting rain on right now. <laughs> okay. Well, we miss him. He's yeah. Always a great presence. Yeah. Yes. Next time. Okay. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I'm glad to meet all these new people and uh, look forward to coming to Chicago. Yeah. Uh, yes. Maybe December time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, when? When are you coming to Chicago? 
uh, we, we think we should do a little tour behind this album. And then I have the other album with Hamid, the album titled the Compassion. So uh, we'll see what we can do in these days. We'd love to come, love to meet everyone in person. Yeah. I would love to do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Thank you, okay. Downfall. I appreciate it. Thank you for like fitting this in. Like, for real. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. But take care. It's great to see everybody. Everybody looking so healthy these days. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. Wave goodbye, Maurice. Thank, you so Thank you so much. You guys take care. Yeah. Love you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good. Look forward to hearing you sing. <laughs> you will. Okay, great. Yeah. Thanks for the content. It was amazing. Okay, thank you. Goodbye, Karen. <laughs>